Hey friends, we are back. We are on day two of Anxiety Elephants for Tween Boys and Tween Girls. Remember, we're going to go on a 30-day journey together. So I'm excited to have you here, tweens, teens, moms, dads, maybe grandparents. Maybe you are a children's ministry and you are walking through this 30 days together. You are all welcome here. My name is Karis Snyder. And don't forget, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and do that. So that way you will know, you will be alerted as soon as the next day's video is uploaded. So the videos of each day will be here on YouTube, but I will be posting on Instagram and TikTok some encouragement for you. And there will also be a Facebook group for you guys as parents. So um, if you wanna find me on Instagram or Facebook, you'll find me at Kara Snyder, that is C-A-R-I-S-S-N-I-D-E-R. -S -S and for TikTok, I brought my phone just so that way I could tell you um, how to find me on TikTok because I know that a lot of you guys are on TikTok uh, for my, my tweens and my teens. So yes, my name on there, I just want to make sure I was telling correctly, is at Karis, lowercase, C -A -R -I -S, underscore Snyder, S-N-I-D-E-R. So I'll be posting on there for you guys as well, because I know that you do not hang out on Facebook. A lot of you might be on Instagram, but I know for most of you, you are on TikTok if you are there. So here we are, we're on day two. We just did day one. Um, and again, we're gonna, I'm gonna highlight some things. This video will not be as long as day one was because we were kind of going a little more in depth into what some of the anxiety symptoms were and how this process was gonna look like. So this video is gonna be a lot shorter. I'm not gonna read each day to you because uh, you, uh, you are gonna go through it and the Lord is gonna speak to you in different ways. Feel free to comment below on the videos, what you're learning, what God has revealed to you, um, or reach out to me through social media and share that with me. I would love to hear how he is speaking to your heart and the things that he's teaching you. And I am writing in mine, just so you see, I have some notes here um, just to share with you guys. But here we go, day two. And this is going to be Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, and this version is the NASB. And again, your version is going to be maybe different if you don't have this version, but this is what it says. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Do you know who that is saying that verse? That is Jesus. That is Jesus inviting you and me to come, to come to him. All who are weary and burdened. Weary means tired, just exhausted. Do you feel tired? Do you feel exhausted? Do you feel overwhelmed with lots of different things going on? Um, burdened. Y'all hear my dog? You hear my doggy, Koopy? Come here, Cooper. Come. Uh, burdened means there is a lot going on in your mind. And it feels like a heavy weight. And sometimes that's how anxiety can feel, right? It can feel like a heavy weight. Like we just can't get rid of it. And I remember uh, as a kid, that's what anxiety felt like for me. It was very hard for me to enjoy life. I lived a lot of time in fear. I was afraid of everything, y'all. I was afraid of my shadow. I was afraid to try things because I was afraid of, of messing up. I was afraid of the what ifs uh, and that anxiety had just gotten a hold of me as a young kid. And I can remember that heavy weight. And at night, especially, my heart would just beat so fast. It would just feel like it was racing out of my chest. And I feel like I could look down at my chest and see my heart beating. Have you ever found yourself there? Have you ever thought that your, your heart is just gonna explode out of your chest? I remember that, and I remember that, that weight, those elephants sitting there feeling breathless, feeling like I was going to pass out at any moment. I want you to close your eyes and do as the text tells us to do, and I want you to imagine a herd of elephants, which means a lot of elephants, running towards you, okay? So close your eyes and imagine that. They made it to you and now all of a sudden they are jumping up and down on your chest, having the best party, thinking that you are the best trampoline 
that has ever been created and they are living their best life, but you are not. And as much as you want them to stop, they don't stop. That is what an anxiety attack feels like, doesn't it? Have you felt that? Have you experienced that? Have you shared that with your mom and your dad or maybe your uh, ministry leader? Well, I love that this scripture tells us that we can come and we don't have to hide. You see, I tried to hide. I tried to hide all my anxiety behind a smile and I was doing it wrong. You see, the reality is kids, tweens, teens, parents, we don't have to hide. God invites us to come and that's actually the right way to respond. Um, he wants us to confess. He wants us to say out loud those things that we're dealing with, those things that we are struggling with. So knowing that you can come to Jesus with all your burdens, that changes things today. You don't have to hold on to that anxiety anymore. You don't have to hide anymore. You know, we've been tempted to hide for since the beginning. But what he's asking us to do is to confess, to say out loud, those things that are bothering us, to confess the sin that maybe we have in our life, those things that we say, do, or think that is not pleasing to God. Do you have something that you need to confess? Do you have something that you need to come and bring to him? Because see, Jesus invites you today to come. And that's our action step that we're going to end with today is to confess and pray and talk to him about the anxiety that you are feeling about a situation. What do you want God to know that you have been hiding from him? He's giving you permission to come and tell him about it. So talk to him about it. And maybe for you, the, the easiest way to talk to him about it is to write it down on this journaling page. Maybe you don't know how to write it, but you would like to draw it. Or maybe you want to talk to an adult that you have in your life, your parents or those ministry leaders or your grandparents or a counselor. But he's inviting you today to confess and pray. And that is one of the most important steps. One of the first steps that you need to do is to admit, to say out loud that these anxiety elephants are bothering you and they won't stop and you need help. So I'm going to read our prayer and that's going to be it for day two. Dear God, I have decided to no longer hide from you. Please forgive me for trying to do this on my own. I need you. I need the tools you have available for me to overcome. Amen. I'm praying for you as you continue to confess and talk to God about these things. Thank you for joining us on day two. I'll see you tomorrow.